What's going on, YouTube? It's United Gamer 101 here, and welcome to a full Lucatio of Mirror Guide. I will show you how to get the trophy or achievement, her armor, and her greatsword. Before we get started, you will be able to summon her for four boss fights, and to complete her quest, you will have to win at least three of them with her alive through the entire fight. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started in No Man's Wharf. What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. <laughs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance when they see this mask. But you... I'm called Lucatil. From the land of Mira to the far east. Across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. Well, you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. <laughs> So No Man's Worth is where you'll first encounter her and be able to summon her for your first boss fight against the Flex Isle sentries. This is directly after the Hyde's Tower of Flame. Now watch where I'm going because where her summon sign is is not directly in front of the boss fight. It's actually in the middle of the world which is kind of weird how they do that. I recommend going ahead and slaying out all the enemies because like I said you'll need her alive so we need to make sure she can get to the boss fight unharmed. After summoning her, just go ahead and defeat the boss, and then move on to the Lost Bastille. When you go there, you will encounter her before the Ruined Sentinels boss fight. Our land of Mira is surrounded by enemies, and constantly at war. There is only one way up in Mira. Join the Order and prove yourself in battle. My family had little fortune and no name. I had to carve out a piece of the world for myself. With two things. My sword, and my loyalty to my lord. I was raised to wield a sword from birth. Life was hard, but I never gave it a second thought. I had swift success on the battlefield, and quickly attained respectable stature. And then I... And then I came here... to... Have you heard of the undead? These poor souls affected by the curse. An undead gradually loses his humanity until his wits degrade completely. Finally, he turns hollow and preys upon others. And a hollow can never be human again. One can skirt this wicked fate only with the help of the souls found here. Assuming, of course, that the legends are true, I can only hope that they are. I'm sorry to burden you with talk of my fate. I suppose I've grown weary these days. So there is no boss fight in the Lost Bastille. You're just going to talk to her there, receive your award, and then move on, and then you'll find yourself in Earthen Peak after the Covetous Demon. There, beside the bonfire, you will see Lucatil standing against the wall, so go ahead and talk to her. Still on the road, are you? Sorry to have burdened you so. 
This is for you, by way of an apology. I found my thoughts growing hazy. My memories are fading, oldest first. The curse is doing its work upon me. I am frightened, terribly so. If everything should fade, what will be left of me? I had an older brother. We learned to fence together. He became the most decorated swordsman in all of Mirror. I never even compared to him. In fact, I never beat him. Not once. But then, one day, he was gone. Lost without a trace. Now I'm certain that he was taken by the curse. Only someone would hear my tale. My brother must have come here, too. Soon I may forget even about him. Now it is time for your second boss fight. This is the Smelter Demon in the Iron Keep. The first boss, not the second one, the old Iron Keep. You will need to go ahead and lower this bridge it's directly to the left of me. It's not hard to find at all to the switch. Go ahead and lower that and go to the boss fight. Right in front of there, you will see Lucatil summon sign. Summon her and win. Now I recommend summoning someone else just because you're trying to win all of these with her alive. So if she dies then you and you kill that boss fight, you just made it pointless. It didn't even count. You need her alive in every single fight. So I recommend summoning another actual player to help you and keep her alive. So go ahead and win that fight, and next we will be in the Black Gulch. In this one, it's a little bit more difficult to find. Her summon sign will be directly beside the second bonfire, but you have to talk to her in this world before you'll see that. And she is pretty difficult to find. I could not find her myself, and I have the strategy guide directly beside me. What you want to do is make your way out. You can do this from the first bonfire. You just want to hug the left wall or the right wall, depending on what side you're coming from and look for a ledge. Now one ledge will lead to the Forgotten Key and the other one is going to Lucatil. So just find a simple ledge is right before those hand demons or whatever they're called. Jump down and then make your way up. They didn't follow me but be careful to make sure they don't follow you and end up killing Lucatil. But now go ahead, heal up, do whatever you have to do and talk to her. Oh, you... My thoughts are very scattered. <laughs> what is this curse? The question rings in my mind, but I haven't the focus to answer it. Loss frightens me no end. Loss of memory, loss of self. If I were told that by killing you, I would be freed of this curse, then I would draw my sword without hesitation. I don't want to die. I want to exist. I would sacrifice anything, anything at all for this. It shames me. But it is the truth. Sometimes I feel obsessed with this insignificant thing called self. Even so, I am compelled to preserve it. Am I wrong to feel so? Surely you do the same in my shoes. Maybe we're all cursed. From the moment we're born. Sometimes I feel obsessed. Even and as you return to the bonfire, her summon sign will be there. 
summon her and beat this boss. Now you have completed all three. I will go ahead and show you the fourth location though. You will go into the center's rise. This is the lost center boss fight across the bridge from Lost Bastille. This is the boss fight I recommend not fighting with her because it's hard to keep her alive. Not that the center's boss fight is difficult, but the way to get to the center goes through a lot of enemies, and Lucatil almost dies every time when trying to run past all the enemies. If you want to go ahead and slay them out and kill all the enemies and come back and get here, go for it. The enemies have a lot of HP, which is why I don't personally do that. So this is the one boss fight I recommend not summoning her. Now after you have completed three or four boss fights with her alive, you want to go to all Leah's keep. How you get there is the second bonfire in Shaded Woods. Go straight up and you will need the King's Ring from Shrine of Amina. As you open the door with the King's Ring on, you will go to the first bonfire and you will see Lucatil there. Talk to her and she will give you her armor, her greatsword, and you will receive a silver trophy or an achievement if you're on Xbox. Who are you? Oh. No, forgive me. I know you. Yes, of course. How goes your journey? I know not what you seek in this faraway land. But I pray for your safety. Please take these. Consider this thanks for keeping me sane. My name is Lucatil. I beg of you remember my name, for I may not myself. My name... But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this guide helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more Dark Souls 2 videos. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or send me a private message. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been United Gamer 101, and I'll see you guys later.